I study insect systematics, genomics, evolution, and diversity. And so most of my work is focused on beetles. I'm a specialist on beetles and specifically on uh, weevils, uh, longhorn and leaf beetles. We're focused on studying the evolutionary ecology of beetle plant interactions. And so there are very specific places where uh, we're doing work. So I have graduate students, uh, one of whom is working in Central America to better understand um, a group of beetles there that's diversified in lowland and montane tropical forest environments. Um, I have a particular interest in a group of leaf beetles that interacts with tropical plants and has similarly diversified in the tropics. And so trying to understand the timing component of that, the geographic component as well. So there's this distinctively evolutionary ecological part. And the hope really, of course, is to integrate across these different levels. So from the ordinal level, looking at the entirety of the Coleoptera, down to these lineages, which have been extremely successful in large part in association with plants, to try to understand uh, at an ecological and evolutionary level um, what's driven diversity and diversification in these groups. The other area that I think is very relevant, um, and this is actually some work that's funded in my lab by the U.S. Department of Agriculture, is using phylogenetic trees and the understanding of relationships among beetles uh, to predict, if you will, uh, the, let's say, ecological habits like host plants or sensitivities to things like pheromones of insects that we don't know anything about given information from ones that we do know. So, uh, for example, in the longhorn beetles, of which there's 35,000 or more species, uh, they're very important uh, for the forestry industry, certainly ecologically play important roles in recycling wood and so on. Well, at any rate, uh, in that lineage, there is a great diversity of species that, in, that are encountered in quarantine. And we often encounter them as larvae or as immatures in a form that they're very difficult to identify. And so the best way to identify them is to generate a small DNA sequence that can then be compared against a reference DNA sequence panel, of course. That allows us to determine who the closest relative might be. But in the context of a phylogeny, we can start to ask questions about how flexible are the habits of the members of this given lineage of beetles. And if this is a species that's been encountered frequently, perhaps, and nothing or very little is known of its habits, but its near relatives have very broad habits and are known to be invasives in other places, it can be very useful for um, trying to, at least without a lot of known data, make some um, early, well, make some early efforts to control or otherwise um, keep an eye out for problematic beetles. We need to consider different kinds of data to truly start to understand insect diversity, um, how it is that we can interact with it in a sustainable way. Uh, those kinds of data might be studying genomes where we can start to see the genomic basis of traits that interest us, but at the same time studying insects in the field, in the environments where they have lived for millennia, and starting to figure out at an ecological level what they do what their habitat requirements are and so on. So then integrating across, again, these different kinds of data um, and then considering the time frame over which insects have um, diversified on Earth, I think we'll not only have a much better appreciation for their diversity, it's not something that's recent and will be easily and rapidly uh, replenished, um, and also for the remarkable ways that through interactions with plants, microbes even, uh, things like horizontal gene transfer and so on, the insect genome has been molded and evolved into the form that it is today, which is so incredible in, in the sense that it's specialized. Uh, beetles and other insects can do things that most other organisms, certainly younger ones in many cases, cannot do.